About to drive down to Louisville, Kentucky, uh, Tom Sawyer cross country course. About a five hour drive here from Ann Arbor. So uh, five hours of great bonding. Study a little bit, you know, start a school, so we got a lot of school work to catch up on. It's about three situations in my life that I have identified my gender identity. Talk about three different times you went to the bathroom. What is your gender identity? Uh, or am I, I'm not probably not allowed to ask that. <laughs> I'm not quite There's sure, but I'm pretty sure I'm a straight male. Yeah. One half pound oh, of yeah. burger, yeah. cheese, onion rings, coleslaw, onions, and um, pulled pork. So it's a lot. How are you feeling? Not good. Oh man. <laughs> So we're out here just to shake out our legs a little bit before um, the meet and get a sense for the, how the course runs. A lot of us haven't been here before, and so it should be a nice opportunity to um, get into the race atmosphere and start focusing down for tomorrow's race. So hey, listen up, guys. You're gonna head out. There's like you're gonna do two small loops out there, and then the course runs back along here, around behind the start, along the dirt road, and then you do a little loop. Kind of winds out back. So there, we go between those trees. That tree yeah, line. you're gonna yeah. head. You and you two, you two are the only ones who've ever gone blue. No. He didn't say that. He didn't even say go blue. It's a little different, but what? like the rest <laughs> of it. He, he said O H. Was that starting box? Did no, I didn't. Oh, I'll say. He said go blue. No, I didn't. You two, you two are the only ones. No, I didn't. Oh. All right, let's bounce out. Sound like you did. Here we go. He said go blue. No. Really? Yeah, he did. It's three years since we've been out here, so just kind of remembering a little bit. It's definitely challenging. It's something different than what these guys are used to than kind of the big, wide open, sweeping course that, that would be at Terre Haute. It's gonna put a little bit of a premium, I think, on, on the start, but um, kind of once you get up to the back, the back part of the course, you can really start rolling out there. This is my first time coming to Louisville, so the first time I was here, I actually watched Michigan run when I was in high school. But um, a lot of the course is hidden, so when I came watching, I, I really didn't get a chance to see what it was all about. So it's cool to actually experience it from a runner's perspective. Um, it's really cool, it's it's mixed up a lot. I mean, you go through some grass, get some gravel in there, a lot of tight turns. So um, it's definitely gonna mix things up a little bit, especially when you get a really large field in there. But I think it plays to our favor because we're used to kind of just grinding out on a, a lot of different terrains, so it'll be good for us. I think they're just used to having this well manicured, you know, cross country course, uh, you know, for your national meet. And that's, that's not what this is, um, but like I said, every every team that makes nationals is going to have to deal with it, and that's where, why we're here is to get a get a get a look at it, get a feel for it, and and know what we're going to have to to deal with in a few weeks' time. It's not bad. It's historic. I right? like the last mile. You know, there's a whole four miles we have to do before that, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think Terre Haute is ten times better than Tom Sawyer Park. This is by far the worst course I've ever ran on, and I haven't even raced on it yet. I'm preemptively saying it's gonna be the worst course ever. Although, Michigan at least has some experience on courses like this. Our Radrick Farms workout loop is pretty hilly and bumpy like this place. So all in all, we're prepared for this. I just think it's not a national quality course. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get in some drills, um, kind of get the fast twitch stuff going, some strides, some quick feet and stuff like that. Um, then we'll head back to the hotel, get some lunch, um, lay low for a bit. Um, yeah, a lot of it's just kind of relaxing, starting to get a little bit into the mental zone for tomorrow, and then we'll have a team meeting tomorrow night, and then that's when we'll uh, really talk about what we're going to do tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I saw him smiling, and I was like... <laughs> Baumgarten, you want a haircut? I don't know. I just don't know. Have you seen, like, have you seen the quality we're Back in the day, I didn't... Yeah, I, I just don't want... Like, I actually want some off the top, too, though. I don't want... Like, I'm gonna get some off the top, too. Flanagan's actually came out really well. Yeah. We're gonna have a couple bucks in there for my last cut. I'm starting to get paid. Runner day by day, hair cutter by night. I only cut runner's hair, though, you know. What's the average time you think it takes off? Uh, at least it's per kilometer. Probably like per K? Per K. At least two seconds per K. Two seconds? <laughs> I'll take two seconds. That's a solid 16 seconds right there. Yeah. No, I'll take 16 seconds for sure. First one of the night's usually the worst. So. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> if aerospace engineering doesn't work out, yeah. I used to have a fallback career. Fallback. Yeah. Thanks, Mason. Yeah. Next car. Next up. All right, two men shirtless. 
Cutting <laughs> hair. <laughs> it's not oh, weird yeah. at all. <laughs> all right, so. What are we doing? Let's do uh, classic, forget sides. Forget sides. Good. Oh yeah, you get top is pretty long. Top's getting pretty long. Right. So let's get rid of some of that. And then just wing it from there. All right. <laughs> Mace, I want one and a half inches. That's what I got last time, so. Oh, get out the, get out ask your girlfriend how that is. What? How long are those? I got got. Hey, you You get a haircut? I'm going to. Oh, he's going, going to. No. I couldn't tell he got one. You did it for a while? Two. Oh, I got Elvis! Oh my god! 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 You have to! That's the last There's no way! There's no way! I'm not keeping this! Keep it! For the race! For the race! Yeah, just one day! One day! The stash, like, compliments everything, too, so that's always coming for you. If I do say so myself. If this stash compliments anything, then that means that whatever it is is not looking good. No, I forgot. Get some hair off. He doesn't need to look good, you know. He's going out to the whole track world here. the running world. Yeah. Yeah, Mason Furlick. Great runner, even better hair cutter. <laughs> You're already here first. Um, so plan tomorrow. Um, we're gonna shake out at six. Um, so you guys should probably be up by like five forty-five, five fifty-five for Baumgarten. <laughs> we'll be for the course at uh, seven thirty. The bus will roll out. A couple things. One, be smart out there. Look for your teammates out there. Be aggressive. Um, you know, and I would say cautiously aggressive in the first mile. It doesn't mean, like I said, it doesn't mean we're leading the race at a mile. It just means we're not in the back quarter of the field. Um, I think for everybody, um, I think everybody's on a, on a really good upswing right now. Um, you know, training for uh, the majority of guys has been, you know, really, really solid. Um, and now with August and Connor both, you know, back kind of in the mix and, uh, and getting close to 100%, I think that makes us a really, really strong team out there. Um, that being said, we've got a lot of teams around us that are equal to our ability. So um, certainly, it, I mean, it's going to be it's going to be a tough fight. Um, and it's because it's so early in the season, and nobody's really shown all their cards. We don't really know where anybody else is coming at right now. So kind of throw the rankings kind of out the window right now. I don't want you to think about that. Anybody that's kind of within that top forty. Is, is probably thinking they got a little legitimate shot to be, you know, one of the top three teams out there tomorrow. And that can certainly be us. On paper, we're the third ranked team coming in, but I think we could easily be first. We could easily be sixth. And, you know, if we don't, if we don't put things together, then, you know, there's a potential for other teams to jump up on us. So I just want you guys to get in the mindset. I know we've been in this big training block now, and this is kind of the part of the season. These next couple of couple of meets, where you know we're really trying to just kind of put a stamp on, you know, this is kind of where we're at in the season. This this is where we kind of solidify our spot, kind of going into the postseason. win this today this badger hunting season they wisconsin they going down maliki i'm coming for you i'm coming right for you <laughs> put that in there <laughs> Preseason is over, okay? This, think of this as this is the first step of the regular season, all right? Race, work with your teammates, race those other jerseys that are around you, okay? We're really fit right now. This is gonna be a great test for us today. But just remember, there's other teams gunning for us too, okay? We gotta be on our game, stay focused in that first K, grind through the middle, and then we're gonna work it on the way home, okay? Use the flat, use the downhill on the way home. If you guys are rolling by guys, we're gonna be in a good position, okay? Be smart out there, okay? Hey, find your boys out there, race drive.
Go blue on three. One, two, three. Go blue! Five in the mile. Start moving up on the outside. Nice job, guys. Hey, you'll get that kid up. Hey, I got him, but he's a blur. I'm gonna do a video next time. That's it, Mason. That's perfect, Carter. Nice job, August. That's the way Tony Wade got up. Alright, there we go. We start moving through. Start moving through after two. Hey, nice job. Patient, patient, patient. Hey, you guys are to play. This is the time. This is when you shine. This is when you shine. It's like, all right, I'm just going to sit and relax for 7K and then, you know, run hard in the last kilometer or so when I have to. That's exactly what I did. Just having fun, just sitting back hunting and uh, following. Nice job, Mason. There you go. There you go. This group's going to break up. Great job, Connor. Great job. This group's going to break up. So when they break up, pick them off. Pick them off. Kind of just opened up a little bit in the last like hey, see who it's gonna come with, and uh, you know, got a couple biters. There you go, you're, you're breaking, you got about five meters, but you got four with you, four there! There you go, Connor! You're 12th right now, you're 12th right now, looking great. 15, come on, go get Connor, go get Connor. Hey, Sam Furley, off the Wolverines of Michigan, the All American, into the lead. Here come the Wolverines. I love this course! This is such a cool course! <laughs> I go as far to say this is the That's best course in the country. Best course in the country. What? It's dope as hell. Maybe yeah, like the meat yeah. sponsors allowed to. Yeah, I was gonna get that, I would have won the race. I'll have to get like six links taken out. Oh, you, you're gonna have yeah. to get that thing. Definitely quite a few links. Links taken off. How's luck? It'd be sweet to take the win, but. We'll take second, especially this early in the season. Yeah, I thought overall, I mean, it was about, I think, what we kind of expected. I think we came in feeling that, you know, we had a shot to win, um, but that, you know, if we at least ran solid, that we should be in the top three. And I thought we had some really solid performance. Obviously, Mason, um, for his first race out for the season, um, you know, really impressive with that. You're never really sure how a guy's going to react in his first race, no matter how, how well trained he's gone. I thought he looked um, really... Unusually sharp for this time of year. Yeah, I was un even under the weather this week. You know, you saw I was sniffling, had a bad cold uh, past couple of days, and you know to come out here and still <laughs> race like I, I did. Yeah, I know yeah, my fitness lost. is at. I know it's going to be a good season. We've gone to the Big Ten strong every every single year, and we do put a, a big emphasis on it. We still don't have that ring on on our fingers. At least I don't. You know, and that's something we really want to provide for ourselves this year and especially for the older guys like Mason, August, and Tony who this is their last year. It's going to be really special going to that meet because it's going to be their time that they're they're really, really going to want it. That's something we're, we're going to make sure we take care of this year. good enough to be just talked about. We're here to do something and like we're gonna do it every year without fail, like over and over. So that's the first goal and then coming to nationals, like I said, we wanna make that next step, whatever it may be. We're definitely not putting in limits on ourselves. But I mean Mason's looking as good a shape as ever and he he's capable of so much this year to lead the team. And then we just wanna get as many guys in that top fifty all American spot as we can and, and like I said, we've got five number two guys. If we can get as many guys in that area, there's no reason why we can't be uh, a, a next level team looking into that top eight, top top five area. It's your last season. Yeah, bittersweet. <laughs> victory, victory lap. Yeah, victory yeah. Lap. My biggest impact right now is just like how I lead the team. You know, how I've changed the culture. Like, you know, I was a guy during the transition period where we had new coaches and you know Sully era, kind of bridging that gap and maybe you know starting the culture of. You know, excellence. That's kind of how I want to lead the team, putting the program on the track to success. I couldn't ask for a better team, you know. Five years in Michigan are probably going to be the most special 
years of my life. And so I'm happy to you know, race with these guys every day, put on that block out with them.